In that routine, I covered the eight aspects of technique. That's playing high, low, loud, soft, fast, slow, tonguing, which includes single tongue, double tongue, and triple tongue, and also slurring or lip flexibilities. If something doesn't go well in covering all of those bases, I don't dwell on it, but I do take note for later practice sessions. The point is to make sure that I've covered all those bases for any demands that I may encounter later that day. For example, if I'm in a rehearsal and I have to triple tongue a soft low G in a rehearsal, it won't be the first time that I've done that during the day. For the next session, I then try to focus on new music that I'm learning. I have a stack of music of what's coming up that week or that month or maybe even a few months out. I prioritize that and then I isolate trouble spots and slow them down and speed them back up with a metronome if necessary. I often learn things in multiple keys which helps with my ear training and I find that successful repetition is absolutely key. I try to get something right five times in a row at the correct tempo before I move on to anything else. If I do it less than that or I repeat mistakes, I'm less likely to be